We'll look at a couple more things on this nominal ledger before we go into looking at the supplier module. If we go back to list and let's go to the 4000 codes, so let's click 4 and let's look at this sales code. There's a tab here that says graphs. Click on graphs. You'll then have a graph appear that will give you a breakdown of transactions to this record month by month. So this is a sales record. So this gives us a breakdown of sales month by month in a graph format. You can print these graphs off and you can make a number of changes to these graphs. Um, if we just go through these buttons at the top here, so you can save the graph, you can print the graph, you can change what graph you like, so it's always defaulted to bar graph, but you could have graphs like this, pie charts, line graphs, but I prefer just the standard column chart, the bar graph. You can make the graph 3D by clicking the glasses. You can print preview the graph. You can show a legend here. You can show a series. You can put crosshairs into the graph. If you click this magic wand here, this gives you some further options and gives you a bit more detail of what you can do. So you can change the color of the series, you can make it blue, or the prior year is blue, let's make it green, click apply notice it's changed to green. You can show values. You can add titles to the graph. So we could put sales in here. Put a pound sign here. And the bottom we could put month. Click apply. You'll notice the titles have appeared like so. If you click options, you can have the actuals this year showing. You can also show the prior year if there's anything. There's nothing on this one, so nothing showing for prior year. But it might be good to compare sales for this year to, to prior year. And you also can set up a budget or a goal. So like for sales, you may have a, a goal to sell 6,000 a month. If you go back to details, you may have another column included here. If you have Sage 50 accounts or some fancy Sage package, you'll have another column in between actuals and to end December 2010 called budget. And if you just fill in the budget, put 6,000 for example each year, go back to graphs, click options, click budgets, OK, you'll then have your budget also appear on the graph. Some other graphs we can look at is if you click change view, click company dashboard, you'll then have a number of information appear, not so much graphs but management information, financial headlines, so total sales to date, gross profit to date, net profit to date, debtors, creditors information, trading headlines, so the top selling product is whiteboard, dry wipe, bank balances, and then a quick company overview of what's booked to nominal codes, sales, purchases, overheads, for example. Now the information this shows, as well as the graphs that I just showed you on the nominal records, are only as accurate as the data we put in to Sage. So the more detail that you put in, and the more accurate and up-to-date it is, the better your graphs are going to be. You can print this off. With these graphs that I showed you, so let's go back to 4000. 
you can have a graph for any nominal code. Sometimes they do not print too well. There is a downfall with Sage. Sage is very good and can do 99% of everything you need it to, but when it comes to printing these graphs, it's not the best. If you have a snippet tool, Windows 7 comes with one as standard. If you go to program or start all programs, I think it's under accessories. You should find snipping tool and what snipping tool is you can cut out some of your screen and then save that to file and print it and it comes off a lot better that way. So let's look at the supplier module. <coughs> 